What is up everyone? Welcome back to Living Survival. I know it has been like three or four weeks since I've put out a video. I got hit with that super bug, the flu virus, and I was unable to make a video in the past few weeks, but that didn't stop me from testing product. Today I have a new product from Maxpedition for 2019 and it actually got debuted at SHOT Show. I've had it for several months prior to SHOT Show, so as uh, usual with the gear that I uh, get to review for you, I like to give it some daily use and I've been doing so for several months now. Now, although it is top quality like Maxpedition products typically are, every Maxpedition product I've owned has been top quality. It isn't without flaws in my opinion. So we're gonna take a look at some of those pros as well as some of those cons in the new Maxpedition cross body bag. All right, let's come inside out of the cold so we can take a closer look at a new pack from Maxpedition. I previously reviewed their Entity 21. This is a Gray Man pack, an absolute awesome pack. You can see it's real subdued. This would be great for someone who needs to, to carry a larger amount of gear uh, with them daily. I don't need this much capacity in my everyday uh, carry setup. I do carry a Legacy Maxpedition uh, pack in the car that we've looked at as sort of my get home bag or my just my uh, you know my emergency bag that goes in the car this would work well for that too but I have the legacy pack so they have the legacy line they have the entity line uh, which is their newest and then they have their AGR line which is uh, more tactical uh, basically a tactical upgrade from their legacy line with laser cut uh, you know webbing and, and uh, features like that but features are still very much included on this entity lineup that they have and they've added some new products to that including a new color this is the darker uh darker gray color or the charcoal color they have a lighter gray that they introduced this year as well so entity pack this is the 21 they have a 23 they have a couple different sizes now they do also have a couple different sizes in their brand new uh crossbody pack They've had their Versa packs, I believe that's what they were called. I had a Versa pack for quite a while. I really enjoyed it. And this is much more my size when it comes to something that's uh, everyday carry for me. Th things that I would uh, you know, wanna have with me if I'm just going on a short trip to the store. I've been doing some deliveries at night uh, to make some extra cash. So, you know, something like this is a way that I can keep my concealed carry with me and I can keep other items with me, such as a flashlight, uh, shine addresses on houses, for example. So someone that just doesn't need as much uh, carry capacity as the larger backpacks, you can now get in these new cross, uh, cross body packs. Now they do have a larger pack or a larger cross body pack. This is the smaller of the two. And then they also have some a more, uh, you know, laptop style case uh, uh, sling packs as well. But we're gonna focus on, on this one that I really like. Again, there's some pros and some cons. Let's get you a little bit closer so we can take a look uh, at this particular pack. All right, so just like every other pack in their entity line, you get this really nice subdued fabric. Maxpedition does not go cheap when it comes to things like their fabric quality, their zipper quality, their hardware quality. And uh, you know, that's no exception with this Entity lineup. It's a 500D fabric, but it's really, really nice. It's really, really uh, durable and strong, but it still gives you that sort of non-tactical, everyday, uh, you know, on the go type look with still having very tactical or very usable features to it. So on the front here, you've got that very nice fabric. It wraps all the way around to the, to the back there on the side. There's a few different options here. On this side, it is just a zip uh, compartment. On the other side here, you have a water bottle compartment that is size adjustable. I have a, I believe it's a 32 ounce uh, Nalgene uh, nested in here right now. But if you wanted to put a smaller water bottle in there, you could do so. We'll look more at that in a moment. And then on the back here, you've got a uh, ambidextrous carry. You can carry it right shoulder or left shoulder. I do carry it right shoulder, uh, but you can see here that the back is, is, is symmetrically cut so that you can carry it on, uh, on either side. You've got a little bit of this air mesh here. It, it carries really comfortably, uh, more so than their Versa packs uh, in the past. You've got a very, very high quality uh, grab handle here. It's not overly thick, which I really like. I like this small diameter grab handle in these smaller packs. Again, you're trimming away some of that excess that you really don't need, but you're maintaining the high quality 
Uh, it's a high quality grab handle. It's also bar tacked on there, which is nice. So starting on the back here, you've got these tuckable flaps for your, uh, for your extra strap here. Now what this extra strap does is let's say you're a courier, for example, uh, you're riding a bicycle, maybe a moped, maybe even a, a motorcycle. What this allows you to do is not only have the shoulder strap over your body, but also to connect this strap as well. And it makes it so that it's really uh, strong and secure on your body so it's not gonna wiggle back and forth. I find you don't get much wiggle with this, just the way it's cut and the way it sits. Um, you know, it sits more flat to my back than other uh, crossbody packs have. Uh, so it, it does work really well. If you don't want this strap, you can uh, just tuck it in the two flaps here i have it tucked because i you know i mainly just throw this in and out of the vehicle i like uh crossbody bags for that reason because let's say i'm getting out of the vehicle with groceries for example or you know maybe just grabbing my phone or a drink that i had in there something like that i can just quickly throw this over my head uh you know and, and exit the vehicle uh, i i don't have to put my backpack straps on i don't have to throw one strap over my shoulder and then i'm trying to carry groceries in for example and have that backpack slip down I know you've probably all experienced that before and then you know let's say you did need to use this in a more uh, tactical or defensive situation I like the fact that I can just throw it over my shoulder and go and I'm not again gonna struggle with it slipping off my shoulders don't have to stop when I get out of the vehicle and uh, and throw that other shoulder strap on so I like that on the side here, we talked a little bit about this water bottle holder it is size adjustable so right now I have this you know large uh, large Nalgene bottle in there it does have a bungee that wraps on the top you can see it was slipping out there it's not going to slip out there with that bungee on the top but you can also tighten this zipper up now let's say you wanted to throw a smaller bottle in here I've thrown smaller water, water bottles in there you can zip this up and there you go it's going to fit those smaller water bottles as well so I really uh, like that feature of the pack switching over to the other side here you have a simple just pocket that opens you can throw uh, you know just quick stash items maybe some hand sanitizer I just have a little battery pack in there that I sometimes use as a backup to uh, to charge my devices so water bottle holder and uh, and uh, small zip pocket on uh, this side now up top you know you have again that very strong reinforced grab handle you can see here that you know the buckles are all Duraflex hardware very high quality you know very very positive um, hardware there the shoulder strap you have this padded portion on the shoulder strap it is reversible it does have some little uh, webbing here that you could hook things onto I know on my uh, entity pack here I had the little cell phone holder hooked onto there so you could hook that on there as well or other accessories it is seat belt webbing so that's really cool again gives it that nice subdued look with a very very high quality now, if you look at the shoulder strap, the buckle is only on one side. That's a con for me. I'm right side shoulder carry, so I'm carrying it like this. I'd prefer to have the quick release here. Now, what the quick release does is if someone comes up behind you and grabs you, tries to slow you down by grabbing the pack, you can just quick release that and then off you go. So again, I'd like to have that on both sides. I don't see why you couldn't put a buckle on both sides. What that would allow you to do is not only remove the shoulder strap if you didn't want it at all, but it would give you, uh, you know, they have the left right carry cut to the to the pack why not make it left right release as well by adding a second buckle over here so that's one of my cons that i noticed so the orientation of the water bottle holder you know it'd be nice if you could order that right or left shoulder i know they just want to make one pack uh you know that they don't have to to have more or less stock in a right or left hand carry but again you could make it ambi by adding that other strap there not a whole lot you can do with this you know i can live with it it's not a big deal um I would just, you know, it's a personal preference that I'd like to have these switched, but it's not a deal breaker uh, for me. Getting back to the hardware here, you know, you have these really positive uh, zipper pulls here. Of course, you have YKK zips, you know, the highest quality zippers. So there's two compartments to this pack here. You got your front little admin compartment here, and just like the Entity uh, 21 pack, you do have these uh, grabbers here that sort of prevent that from falling all the way down you can quick disconnect those if you didn't want them there in here you have a sleeve for a tablet and then you just basically have you know your your uh, your main compartment here on the side there is two little flaps here we're gonna talk about those in a moment uh, you can we can pull out some of the stuff I have in here so I just have a tablet 
in there. I've got my notebook. I've got some hand sanitizer. I've got my flashlight. Very quick and easy way to grab my flashlight. I've got a multi-tool. I've got my pen. I've got uh, extra batteries for the flashlight. And then a lot of times I will, uh, you know, throw maybe a a you know winter hat in here or some gloves or something like that on the reverse side here so you got this flap for the tablet holder there on the reverse side there is a zippered compartment and then a hook and loop compartment and you see i've got an extra mag here i've got their uh, dual mag wrap uh, we can take a closer look at that in a moment but uh, that allows me to when I, if i have to access my sidearm i can also flip this open really quick it's not going to fly all the way open because of these quick holders here and then I have access you know to an extra magazine uh, if I did need that all right so right behind the front pocket here is the concealed carry pocket again you've got these these very very nice uh, zipper pulls here that you can get your fingers in uh, you know I leave them right up top there so if I have to sling it over I can very quickly just open this up and I can draw out uh, my firearm no problem so in here it's just full hook and loop so you could really accessorize this i just have their uh their pistol wrap here uh and uh but you could put so many other things in here they make other accessories to hold things like flashlights or multi-tools um, again i just use this for my concealed compartment here again it's very easy to draw you can set it up left or right carry you can take a look at this uh this uh, uh, pistol wrap here it's their universal pistol wrap their UPW again I had I have it set up for my firearm it's just velcro you simply just you know adjust it for your firearm you can you know use it right or left it doesn't matter and then you can just simply just put it inside I put it at a little bit of a cant and then it's gonna hold your firearm securely in there now let's go back to this other pocket here and I'm going to show you some of the cons here. Again, on the front here, you do have hook and loop. And I have their, uh, their mag wrap here, which is really nice. Same, uh, same, you know, Velcro on the back so that you can, you can adjust it to the size of your magazines. I could pop a different magazine in there. You know, you could even loosen that up and throw a flashlight in there. That brings me to one of my cons. Now, if you have a tablet in here, and this is a smaller version of an iPad, but if I have that in there, I prefer if this material here or, the, or the, the, the sleeve here that holds it comes higher up. And the reason for that is if you have your mag sitting on the inside here and it's higher up on this hook and loop, you know, it can bang against your laptop, you know, especially if you're maybe walking or, or something like that with this pack. Not only that, but the contents that are inside, such as this flashlight, if I just drop that in there, you know, that's able to wiggle around in there and possibly scratch the surface of my iPad. So it'd be nice if they would bring that sleeve all the way up, you know, closer to the top. So that gives it some, some sort of protection in the front. Another thing I don't like about uh, this pack or I won't say don't like something that that could be improved upon there isn't anything I don't like about this pack just things that I think that could be improved upon these there's two little pockets on the side one on either side here these need to be deeper I don't know why they're not that deep they're about you know that deep so if I take a multi-tool for example and I try to uh, slip that in there you can see that's as far as it goes in there I'll give you a closer shot there you know that's going to wiggle right out of there again i wish that went deeper i don't see why it couldn't go uh deeper down so that you could put deeper things in there i could throw my flashlight you know, on the on the other side for example you know if i throw my flashlight in there you can see it just doesn't go down at all in there so it'd be nice if those went deeper down uh, in there so that I could put things on the side there like a multi-tool and a flashlight. So another little little beef I have there. And then finally, the last beef that I have is with this zippered compartment here. There's absolutely no room in here. I mean, it's, it's, it's so shallow that if I put this, uh, you know, put this hand sanitizer in there, you can see it barely fits in there. I mean, it'll fit in there. But keys, for example, if you have a larger set of keys, you're going to have trouble fitting them in there. You do have a key keeper in here. Again, this, you know, I'd like this pocket to be deeper. So, you know, again, not, not huge deals, but I just don't see why they couldn't make that just a little bit deeper there to carry more things in this front pocket here. Raise this 
elastic band up so that it gives you more protection against your tablet, especially since this is the smaller, uh, you know, iPad, and then deepen these two pockets on the side. If they did that, you know, that would make this a home run for me. It's still a very nice pack. It's still a pack that I've been using quite a bit. I enjoy using it. Again, you could get their little, I believe I actually have it in my entity pack here. Yeah. You could use something like this to, uh, you know, to store things like your flashlight. I could go ahead and throw my flashlight in there. I can go ahead and throw my uh, multi-tool right next to it. Could throw our hand sanitizer right below that. And then I could, instead of putting my, my mag wrap in here, that's the nice thing about this Entity series is that you can, you can customize this however you want. So I could put that right there and that's gonna keep my stuff organized. Again though, you can see here, that that could bang right up against that laptop. So just, you know, some deeper pockets, you know, for a future version. I would love this pack if I could get a deeper pocket here, a higher sleeve on the laptop uh, compartment and deeper pockets on the side so that I could stash uh, more stuff. So overall, this is very, very high quality. You're not gonna wear this out. It's something that can be used and abused. It's made to be used and abused. It is very functional for me. Again, just a few, uh, you know, few complaints there on the uh, depth of those pockets. If they address that, again, this would be a home run uh, pack for me. So I wanna know what you guys think. Please leave me a comment below in the comment section as well as share this video to any friends or family who might be interested on your social media. I hope you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you're new to the channel or haven't yet subscribed, please click that red subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of future videos.